In this tip of the day, let's take a look at one CNC thread milling. In this example, you can see we have a part that represents a fuel inlet. And what we need to do is generate toolpath to machine this external thread. So let's jump in. Let's head over to the command manager, select stock toolpaths, and then threading. From there, take your cursor and just left click on the diameter that you'd like to thread. From there, we need to define a tool. This is going to be in tur position number one. I'm happy with the speeds and feeds. For tool type, we have thread mill. I'm using a tool diameter of 375 thousandths. And for teeth, you can use a single tooth tool or you can use multiple teeth if you'd like. We'll click next on that. My clearances look great and my final Z depth is going to be 800 thousandths. Let's click next on that. Now for style, you can create an internal or an external thread. I'm going to be making a right-handed custom thread and we're going to climb cut from the top to the bottom. Again, this is going to be a custom thread. The pitch is set at 50 thousandths, but of course you can type in anything that you'd like. But let's go back to 50 thousandths for this example. Now the adjustment, this is how you can make the threads more loose or tight. You can also specify a start angle. That's if you were looking down on the top of the part, you can specify where that thread's going to start. Here's the major and minor diameter that were picked up from the geometry we selected. If you were machining a taper angle, you could also specify the engagement. Now for spring cuts, you can set this to none, one, or multiple cuts. And if you'd like, you can definitely use cutter comp if you want to. So for the tool diameter, again, that's 375 thousandths. Let's click next. We're going to auto arc in and arc off. We'll click finish, let one CNC generate the toolpath. Let's quickly take this into preview. Let's right hand mouse click on the machining operation, preview toolpath, and here we go. So the tool is arcing on, we're engaging. I'm going to speed up the preview just a little bit here. We're climb cutting from the top to the bottom. And when this is finished, the toolpath will arc off of the thread and then wrap it up to the clearance value. All right, that's it for this tip of the day. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.